Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, someone asked me about the PowerShell version in our PCs uh, because you saw an article, and I did see it today also, about PowerShell 2.0 being deprecated and removed from Windows 11. And um, that means that we're left with PowerShell, which is a different version. Technically, a lot of people will have 5.1, I believe, is the latest version. But some might want to move on also to version 7. Uh, how does it happen? Well, first of all, just start PowerShell. And once you're on the PowerShell, you can ask PowerShell for the latest version. First, if it tells you install the latest PowerShell for new features and improvements, it gives you a link. It might tell you that you know you have a newer version of PowerShell if you want to. The important thing is to be at least at 5.1. You don't have to be at the latest. So the command to check the version is this one, dollar sign PS for PowerShell version table. Um, I'll put that in the description below if you want to just do a copy paste. You press enter and it will tell you what is the latest version you've got. So here you see I'm at 5.1. 0.26100.4768. It's fine to be at 5.1, by the way. And if you are worried about compatibility of some apps or scripts that were on PowerShell 2.0, um, 5.1 is supposed to be quite good at compatibility. So it should be okay. And in the case where you would like to go and see if you can update, you can write, just control click the link and it will actually go and bring you to the uh, page where it says migrating from Windows PowerShell 5.1 to PowerShell 7. And you have all the details here, and you can deploy using a uh, Microsoft install package uh, or a zip package and upgrade if you want. Uh, and um, it's not necessary. It all depends on what you do and what you need in PowerShell. But you don't have to upgrade to five, to 7. Absolutely, 5.1 is fine. The only thing you don't want to be is stuck at 2.0, which is now being uh, removed. So, of course, all of this is possible. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.